Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be completing the new hero pick, completely free, it looks unbelievable, there are some brilliant cards in there, whether you want Torre, Ramirez, Lucio, or even Janola, you're in the right place, and all you've got to do to say thank you is drop a like down below, subscribe if you're new, and let's get into it. If you guys are still stuck with a team like this, and everyone you play in champs has a team like this, then you need to head over to Skycoach in the link below. Not only have they got the cheapest and most reliable service for FIFA coins, you can pick any amount of coins, select your console, and put in code PROREECALL for 10% off. So first First of all, let's take a look at the pick itself. So I'm assuming there is some pretty damn high requirements. So team of the seat, what on, there's nothing. This is like the lowest, oh, that is way lower. That is a big dub from EA. This is a very, very easy SBC to complete. So first of all, let's have a look at the requirements. I think that's the most important thing. You also want to get your daily login done because this is going to be a very decent and easy contribution towards completing these SBCs. So let's get that pack done. Obviously, you'll complete an objective for it. And let's have a look at the requirements. 85 and 86. I'm assuming there's a team of the... Okay, so there's no team of the week, no team of the season. This is the lowest the requirements have been. Now, I'm going to complete these two while talking you through exactly what we're going to do. Of course, first of all, you want to make sure you've done that daily upgrade like I did a moment ago because that's going to be an easy contribution. Not only are you going to get the pack, but there's also going to be maybe an 80 times 5. Maybe, I don't know what the, the kind of rewards are for it. I can't remember off the top of my head. But there'll be a few fair good rewards. So if you've been keeping up, you know that's going to be an easy contribution into this SBC. But as you can see, I'm pretty damn shocked at what they've actually dropped this as. It's a lot cheaper than I was expecting, which means the weight could be a little off. We might find that actually it's a little bit harder to get good cards in this one. But we're going to hope. So let's go over to the objective first of all. And remember, if you don't don't have anything you're still able to do this you're just starting from a little bit of a lower point so you've got to do a little bit more but we're going to go over to the objectives check if anything is completed we've got one in the live section that will be the daily login let's have a look so we've got 75 times five you might have also got maybe an 80 times two an 81 times two or an 82 times two if you haven't done all the days and then we've got an 80 times five and an 83 times two to come along with our 84 times five so all of that would be a good contribution if you're going to take a few days for it but if you want to do it now don't worry i've got you now, first of all, I can't actually open the packs right now because as you can see, we've got a load of player picks in prep for another video. So make sure to check that out. But in the meantime, I can show you exactly what to do. So first of all, we're going to go over to the favorite section. Of course, the 86 double will play a part in this. You've got your player picks, your BL and FBL. And then if we go a little bit further down, by the way, that card looks absolutely beautiful. And um, if we go a little bit further down over on the players section, not the players, I see, um, you can see I'm, uh, I'm having a slow day. You want to go to the premium mixed league upgrades. Obviously, this is a a really big upgrade it's something that's always going to be part of what we're doing at the moment you want to avoid this one here i know even though the name is wrong right now this is not going to help you towards getting any other spcs done if you want to crack it up under touch brilliant but this is not the spc for you to try uh, and get more fodder because it's simply going to be way too expensive if we have a look at the requirements you're going to need an 84 and an 86 it's going to take a lot of what it would just be to do the hero in the first place you want to start out by completing these three sets of spcs obviously the bronze and silver are essentially free we've all got six bronze and silver cards in our club that we can pop in these what you get out is going to help you complete the daily gold upgrade completely and then of course from completing the daily upgrade you get more packs as well so you want to take those over to your premium mixed league upgrades and i will run you through that step next but another step that we can add in if you've got the time is going through the first two SBCs of every single icon so we've got the born legend and the rising star by going through every single one of these you can see I've done most of them I think as you go on uh, there are some I've not done of course I've not done Raul yet because he's just came out but essentially what you can do is complete all of these with the rare bronzes and rare silvers in your club if you have them and um, I tend to do it with untradables just so you know you're not wasting any coins there that you could be putting somewhere else and um, what you get back for these is common gold players packs and silver players packs now usually these are okay packs they'll get you maybe 5,000 coins at a push between the two of them and um, but right now it's team of the season which means you can actually get team of the seasons in these packs which means actually it's all the more valuable because there is a good chance or especially on some of the lower rated ones that you might be able to get them now i've seen palmer come out of silver packs i've seen i think in the first week there was a, a woman in the live tots i think it was and she was in a bronze pack a sub sent me that over so it's definitely possible you've just got to put in a bit of a shift and complete these SPCs. Now coming off the side quest and going back to the main quest, we're going to go back over to the upgrades. And of course, what you're going to do is take the results of your gold upgrade pack into your mixed league and premium mixed league, preferably the premium mixed league. Uh, and essentially, you're probably going to get maybe 25 of those players into this. Then what you're going to do is buy out the rest of the SBC for whatever you didn't pack and then open those packs 
put everything back into this that it's untradeable. Everything tradable you want to sell apart from the Lib and Sud cards and then everything else. So anything tradable that's not Lib and Sud, that gets sold. You'll probably make five or six K back maybe. And then everything else that's untradable goes back in. Then the second time around, you probably won't have to spend coins to redo it. Even if you do, it might be 2K. Um, but then obviously we've just made some coins in the first one. So the overall you've spent in by the two sets is like 8,000 coins with the profit you make back. Then you open the second one and then you, of course, recycle again and you'll have spare recycles from the first time. You sell again. Again, uh, and then you begin to make profit because you break even from what you originally put in. I know that's obviously sounding like a long-winded process, but it's the only process in the game that gets you free coins and free cards very, very easily. So it's definitely worth doing, especially if you're starting from nothing. Now, if you're not starting from nothing and you just need to go and complete a few SPCs, we've got that option there for you as well. But if you were to complete this, get a load of commons, you can slow slot them into either the 77 plus B, uh, BL and FBL. And obviously there's a good return of higher rated cards and you can get this done pretty quickly. Similarly, 81 plus player picks. You've seen I've got an absolute ton done. Making those, I mean, there's a very good chance if you actually do 50 player picks, I know that's like a, a lot, but it's a good example size. 50 player picks, you're looking at getting an 88, an 87, probably an 89, probably a tots in there at some point. They won't be a great one, but it'll be a tot. So you get a load of high rated players. Whatever doesn't go into the Uncle Hero player pick can go into an exchange. Then you just recycle this method again. And essentially, it's very easy to get a lot of SPCs free right now. Um, we did a video on that yesterday, and it is just very, very easy. Now, of course, I want to get this Uncle Hero player pick done. We're going to complete both of these so I can show you exactly what they're looking like. And we do have a video coming very soon on how to guarantee yourself a Bundesliga Tots. So if you want a Bundesliga Tots and you've not been lucky, which I can imagine right now is the majority of the people watching this video because they have been damn hard to pack, make sure to check out that video because that'll be out in the next hour. Of course, I'll run through a method on how to get Jimenez as well. Now, I've said Jimenez there. I actually meant Raul. I think his surname is like Jimenez or, or whatever it is. But another thing to reference just as part of this, if we go back to the SPCs, if you do do those premium mixed league upgrades, you do do exchange packs with some things that you get, you can take yourself over to the 86 double upgrade you know if you get a load of 83s and 84s but you don't quite have enough to do the hero pick you can get this one done it's going to get you i've had three of these done so far and actually i thought the return was pretty damn good so although it's not going to be an 88 89 every single time there's usually quite a good return and these are fairly good packs to do to contribute to other sbcs now the logic here is that i'm going to put in a bad hero and hopefully get a good one out whacking in do deck we've got Pretty average squad here. Most of these, I mean, like I've got Bruno Fernandes here, all have been packed from some of these 86 doubles. That was from a store pack. A little bit fuming recently. I've had two store packs where I got Dudek and then I got Schmeichel. I just feel like they're mugging me off. So we've got both of the picks done. I'll be honest, guys, I'm praying for a good one here. The most recent hero picks that I did were actually very good, but historically, they've been pretty damn bad for me this year. So we're going to pop open the second one first. We've got... Okay, so that, that's what I was talking about. They're pretty damn mud for me. Um, God, please don't finesse me. Come on, just one good thing. I hate these picks so much. The only good one I've had so far was your man Tevez. Um, and he was... Obviously, he's pretty damn good if we go over here. He's still like... There's one or two of him on the market. This one here. But... I mean, look at my bench. I've got too many. I just wanted a CDM, really. Um, we'll get him on the bench. We'll let him. We'll let him have a slot at some point. I, I don't. Act, I think Diaz is pretty damn bad, but he doesn't really even make the bench right now. So what do we do? What you need to do though is subscribe. 